to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. Today's block is called Aztec Jewel and it's 12 inch finished. Here is the diagram. We'll cut squares, rectangles, and we'll make flying geese and half square triangles. Here are four blocks set block to block. And here are five blocks set on point. Here are the patches and I have the AccuQuilt dies you can use for each patch are listed here as well. Patch A is a one and a half inch finished square. We cut two inch squares. We'll need four patches of the dark fabric and these patches are in the outer corners. Patch B is a one and a half inch by three inch finished rectangle. We cut three and a half inches by two inch rectangles. We need eight patches. And these are in the corner units. There are two in each corner unit. Patch C is a one and a half inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and three eighth inch squares and cut them in half once diagonally for two patches. Now these patches are used in the flying geese units. These are the sky portion of the flying geese. If you're using patches, you cut 24 patches. We're going to use the flying geese four at a time method. So in that case, we're cutting 12 squares. We'll just cut the squares at two and three eighth inches and we will not subcut them. Patch D is a three inch finished quarter square triangle. We cut four and a quarter inch squares, cut them in half diagonally twice for four patches. These are the geese part of the flying geese. That's the larger triangle. If you're using patches, you cut 12 patches, but we are going to use squares for the four at a time method, so we cut three squares. And we cut the, the squares four and a quarter inches. Patch E is a three inch finished half square triangle. We cut three and seven eighth inches, cut them in half once diagonally for two patches. These are the large half square triangles in the corner units. We're going to use the two at a time method. So we will cut two squares each of the light and the dark fabric. If you're using patches, you cut four patches of each. And patch F is a three inch finished square. We cut three and a half inch square. We just need one of those. And that is the square in the center. Here are the fabrics. This is patch A that go in the corners. These, this is patch B, the rectangles that go in the corner units. This is patch C, which is the sky portion of the flying geese and we're going to make flying geese four at a time so we keep them in the squares. Patch D is the geese part of the flying geese. So we will use squares to make flying geese four at a time. Patch E are for the half square triangles that go in the corner units and we will use two at a time method to make the half square triangles. And patch F is the center square. For the piecing, we're going to make the corner units first, and that's this unit down here. For step one, we'll take the E patches or squares and make four of the half square triangles. If you're not familiar with making half square triangles two at a time, stay tuned for a short tutorial that shows you how to do it. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. The half square triangles are done. In step two, we're going to take a B patch and sew it to each of the half square triangles just like this. The placement of this B patch is important, so make sure it looks exactly like the picture. Here is the half square triangle, and then the B patch will be sewn like this. 
press your seams open and you'll make four of these. And after you do that, we'll go to step three and take the A patches and the remaining B patches and sew them together like this. So you'll just put them together like this, sew them, press the seams open, and you'll make four of these. We have our units ready, and for step four, we piece them together just like this. Stitch the seam and press the seams open. Our corner units are done, so we'll set those aside for now. And in step four, we'll make the flying geese units. If you're using patches, you will sew your C patch to your D patch, press the seams open, then sew another C patch to the other side and press the seams open. And you'll make 12 of these flying geese units. I will be using the C and D squares to make the flying geese four at a time. If you're not familiar with this method, stay tuned for a short tutorial that shows you how. For flying geese four at a time, you need one large square and four small squares. The large square is the geese part of the flying geese and the small squares are the sky part of the flying geese. On the back of each of the small squares, draw a diagonal line. Place two of the small squares like this on the large square, right sides together. You line up these edges and make sure these lines line up. Then you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch on both sides of that drawn line. Here are the two stitching lines on either side of the marked line and now we cut it in half on the marked line. Now you'll open these up and press your seams open on both sides. Cut off the nubs. Now you'll place another square in this corner. Here's your diagonal line and stitch on either side of the diagonal line. And do that for both of these. When you're stitching, your stitches should come out or start right at this point, this intersection here, this 90 degree angle. Cut this in half on the diagonal line and you have these two. Press your seams open and cut off your nubs. And do the same for this one. Four flying geese. Our 12 flying geese are ready and we'll take three flying geese units and sew them together like this. When you sew these together, you'll want to put the point at the top so you can see this as you're sewing. If you line up the edges, you'll want to sew your quarter of an inch and then you stitch right above that point because you don't want to cut your points off. And then keep stitching to the end here, quarter of an inch. And press your seams open. You'll make four of these units. We have our flying geese units ready, which are the side units. The corner units are ready and the center square. Now we'll just put the block together. Sew the units together, the first row one, row two, row three. Press the seams open, then sew the rows together. When you sew your flying geese units to the unit on its side, you'll want to have the flying geese unit at the top. When you stitch your quarter of an inch, you'll be able to see your points so you won't cut them off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.